Okay, hey, uh, back out on the road again. As you can see, I'm driving around in the Prius, heading home. Uh, I've been training down here in uh, Oregon, Washington border, and I'm heading home. Decided to take some back roads, and I'm gonna stop here at the Beaver Falls trailhead and go down to the Beaver Falls and see if I can get some cool pictures down there. So, there's all kinds of false trails and apparently this couple that just arrived told me to follow this trail right here. So we've got the backpack full of gear, got the trusty tripod, and filming on the uh, Fuji X-T4 with the X-T2 in the pack to do all the uh, stills. So uh, I'll go ahead and spin around, show you the trailhead, and take you down to Beaver Falls, right on the uh, Washington-Oregon border. Easy trail to follow. Of course, I'm not wearing hiking boots. I'm wearing my nice leather boots. I didn't come prepared for any hikes, but you got to do what you got to do. Wow, look at the colors. These ferns are just super bright green with the, uh, the brown leaves that are all wet. Really cool. bit muddy. It's crazy how these rocks are just right here on the side of the trail like this. Oh, you just missed a good wipeout. <laughs> I don't know if I'm all muddy or not, but I slipped on a a branch right here, whoop, right on my butt. Saved the camera though. So let's go down this trail. Look how crazy this thing is. So I don't know about you guys, but I've kind of noticed that I get the uh, get there itis where I'm so focused on getting to the waterfalls that I bypass cool scenes like this and say, okay, I'll go ahead and shoot that on the way back or something and then never even do it because so focused on that one objective that you kind of plan to go to. So I'm, man, I am like trying to, I'm gonna have to tie my shoelaces together. So I slow down, enjoy the, the journey you know, that's supposed to be the fun part of this whole thing is out in wilderness with the camera, the solitude and the, the beauty and stuff out here. And that's so focused on getting to the waterfalls to take a picture of a waterfall. Um, I don't know if you guys do the same thing or, no, or look at your pictures and go, God, I, I got the pictures of the waterfall, but I didn't get any pictures of the, the hike up in there. And there was a lot of beautiful scenery and macro things close up, you know, uh, <laughs> I am, I've got to do better. And uh, leave a message down below if uh, you, or a comment down below if you guys think you're doing the same thing that I'm doing, or you get that get there itis, and don't stop to shoot all the stuff along the way, like some really cool leaves. All right, there that are hanging up in the tree that look really cool. They're brown, yellow with a green moss. That'd be really cool. And then there's the stuff on the floor, which, you know, make great close-up kind of shots here, like that stuff down here. 
So, okay, put the brakes on. I have the tripod, I have all the gear. The waterfalls aren't going anywhere. So let me try taking my time and take some pictures along the way. All right, leave a comment down below. Is a pretty spectacular waterfall. Wow, I'm impressed. <clears throat> okay, I finally made it to the falls. Pretty impressive, Beaver Falls. So I'm uh going to take my first shot right up here on top of the trailhead that leads down closer to the falls. And I'll show you what I have set up right now in the X-T2 on the tripod. Anyway, so I'm trying to slow the shutter speed down enough where I can get some of that milky look. And I'll show you what that looks like now. Okay, one thing you have to remember to do when you're around waterfalls, because of the spray coming off the falls, it gets on the lens and will soften all your images. So make sure you have a good cloth and wipe down your uh, lens before you take the picture, because I already took about three, realized, boy, they're starting to get soft. Looked at the lens and sure enough, they were, they were soaking wet. So remember to, Wipe your lens. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm standing pretty close to that waterfall and it is loud. <laughs> well, I'm trying different compositions here, vertical and uh, horizontal or portrait and landscape. I tried a couple uh, panoramas in here, trying different shutter speeds, trying to get the milky kind of look on the waterfall and also trying to stop action it. Trying to get some of the, uh, the foam, which you can see here, and it's kind of going down the river. And I'm trying to get some of those streaks, so it kind of looks like that, I guess, like that. <clears throat> uh, boy, I could spend all day here, but I have to hit the road and get home. Um, so I'm going to take a couple more shots and then head back up the trail. And if uh, they turned out pretty decent, I'll go ahead and uh, show you now. So check back often and I will see you next time. Bye for now.